Hello, and welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. My name is Seamus, and today, um, the stables the stables in Medora, North Dakota, they're uh, slowing down a bit. We're closed for the weekdays. The musical's over. So today, we're just going to take some shoes off, some horses, do some trimming. We've got here Monty. If you guys don't know Monty, he is a horse in the musical, and uh, he is... Uh, he does message a lot. If you guys have seen the musical, you'll know what I mean. But one thing that makes Monty unique is that brand right there. And uh, he is a favorite among the writers here. He's got some shoes, so we'll be taking those off. So we got our favorite here, Taylor. Do you love this job? I love it. Absolutely love it. Do you love the stables here? Yes, I do. Favorite place all summer. All summer. And who's this here? This is Nipper. And Nipper likes to just play. Dogs live in the farrier dog life. <laughs> All right, come on, Monty. Taylor. Yep. So why is it so important to have shoes on horses? Some of these horses up here at the rocks, the hills, especially for musical horses. And some of them need the extra traction and also they also need the protection on the feet. Yeah. A couple of them up here got some more brittle feet, throw some shoes on and hold the feet together. Just keeps the horses comfortable so that the wranglers can use them and the People that come up to ride, they can ride them in comfort, and the horses are happy, and the people are happy. And with the care of the feet of the horses, does that extend their life, oh, lifespan? You, oh, you bet it does. Some horses need shoes. One of mine I got, got to have shoes on them from when I go out ride them out in the rocks or trail cows down gravel road. Mm -hmm. One of them I can buck take them to the mountains or ride them down gravel road and never ever faces them barefoot. It all kind of depends on some of the horses and what their feet are like. So, somewhat, so you're somewhat of a doctor yourself then, right? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> Hoof doctor on a horse. No. Taylor, how long does it take for you to have the skill set to do that? What you're doing right now? Years. Years. So what are you looking at there? 
sink in the foot. Make your heels are level, the whole foot's level. That way they'll stand and they'll walk straight. So would you say shoeing a horse is kind of like fitting somebody into a pair of running shoes? I would. Everyone's different. They're, everybody's got different feet. They need something specifically for them. Horses are the same way. And then can you tell what they need by looking at the shoe that you take off too? Yep. By the wear on the shoe, how they wear is how they stand, how they walk. Same way with me, I always wear my boot bad. And again, I walk bad. <laughs> Sounds like you need a good pair of running shoes. I think so. Do they make them in cowboy boots or not? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Not yet. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the leverage away from it. Yeah. I'm just to step on something and I'm going to do the same right here. It creates kind of a goofy notch, but it takes all the pressures off. And this will also is that gap in here yep that will allow the dirt to build up which would put pressure on it yep because what it does is it takes that that wing off of it here Pulling it this way, you gotta be careful so you don't come up and cut the corner again. Like there. And then that takes all that pressure off. I'm gonna clean it up here a little bit more as it created a little bit of edge on that. Now I can grab it, it's not flexing. They took all that whole pressure off. There's a little bit of flex there, and there is on a normal foot. The normal foot will flex so, but yeah. And this is and this is what keeps horses and yep. This is what keeps domestic horses alive longer than uh, wild horses, right? Yes. Yep. Because we do this sort of thing. Because we end up take care, taking care of them. Wild horses, they'll wear a foot off, they'll break a foot off. Well, they're going to have to either heal up on their own or. Or just, get, or just get eaten. Yep. Real truth of it. What a happy horse now. All right, Monty, how was that? Not, not too bad, right? I, well, I'm, I'm talking to Monty. Yeah. Yeah. How was that, Monty? Not too bad. Feel better. You are you ready for this winter? Huh? Okay. Let's go.
What are you catching there, Taylor? A whole bunch of French green apples. <laughs> Orange apples, that is. And I ain't going to eat them. What a day at the stables, holding horses. Well anyways, if you like that video, please like and subscribe to my channel because there will be more horses and stuff, adventures to come.